a well defined nuclear membrane is absent and the genetic material lies as a single chromosome but for eukaryotic cells it have well defined nucleus and membrane bound organelles example animals okay here is the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell what is the difference between basic differences between a plant cell and an animal cell for a plant cell the cellular cell wall present external to cell membrane that means additional to the coating of a membrane called cell membrane in plants there are one more coating there is one more coating which is a cellulose cell wall that means a cellulose cell wall made up of cellulose so for a plant cell there is cell membrane which is the coating of the cell which is the protective layer of the cell and in addition to the cell membrane there is another coating outside the cell membrane made up of cellulose and that coating is known as cell wall in case of animal cell there is no cell wall for an animal cell there is no cell wall and the outermost structure is called as cell membrane or plasma membrane so first basic difference is that animal cell having only cell membrane or plasma membrane but for a plant cell in addition to this cell membrane or plasma membrane there is an additional coating there is an additional cover made up of cellulose and that is the cell wall in plant cell vacuoles are usually large so for a plant cell large vacuoles are present but in case of animal cell generally vacuoles are absent and if they are present they are usually small so in animal cell vacuoles are generally absent but for exceptional case if they are present they are usually small they are usually small then for case of a plant cell plastids are present in plant cells there are plastids plastids are present in plant cell but in animal cell plastids are absent in animal cell plastids are absent next case for a plant cell centrioles is absent but for animal cell centrioles are present in plant cell centrioles is absent but for animal cell centrioles are present these are the differences between a plant cell and an animal cell now look at the difference if we are asking to differentiate between a plant cell and an animal cell then you can draw this table simply and you will got full marks this is the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell for a plant cell we are having an additional external coating that's called a cell wall but there is no cell wall in animal cell only plasma membrane is there for plant cell vacuoles are large for animal cell it is absent if there is present it is small then plastids are present in plant animal cell and it is absent in anim animal cell centrioles are absent in plant cell and centrioles is present in animal cell so it is the difference between a plant cell and an animal cell now we discussed all the basic things related to cells what is eukaryotic cells what is prokaryotic cells then the difference between plant cells and an animal cell now we need to discuss about what are the organelles which is present in a cell the organelles which is present in a cell that is the components of a cell moving to the components of a cell i'm explain the first component which is plasma membrane which is the plasma membrane a plasma membrane is a thin selectively permeable membrane covering the cell and is made up of lipids and proteins this plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins this plasma membrane is made up of lipids and proteins and this is the covering of the cell this is the covering a protective layer of the cell and one more thing this is a selectively permeable membrane this is a selectively permeable membrane so for plasma membrane remember three points this is a selectively permeable membrane this is the covering of the cell and it is made up of lipids and proteins the functions of this plasma membrane is it is separates the contents of a cell from its outside environment first function is that 
this plasma membrane separates the contents of a cell from its external environment and the second function is it regulates the flow of substance from the cell it regulates the flow of substances from the cell okay we are having two functions for a plasma membrane first is it separates the contents of a cell from its outside environment and the second function is that it regulates the flow of substances from the cell now one additional term that can be asked from this section is that what do you mean by osmosis what do you mean by osmosis osmosis is simply diffusion of water through a selectively permeable membrane what is osmosis it is diffusion of water through a selectively permeable membrane diffusion of water through a selectively permeable membrane is known as osmosis clear this is our first organelle of a cell plasma membrane clear what happens when a cell is placed in different solutions now we are looking at a topic that if a cell is placed in different solution that hypotonic solution maybe hypertonic solution maybe isotonic solution when this cell is placed in such different solutions what happens to the cell that we are looking first when the cell is placed in a hypotonic solution then the cell placed in it will gain water so when a cell is placed in hypotonic solution it will gain water so hypotonic solution when a cell is placed in it the cell gains water when the same cell is placed in a hypertonic solution then the cell placed in it will lose water and when the cells are losing water then the process is known as plasmolysis then the process is known as plasmolysis now the same cell is placed in isotonic solution then the cell will neither gain nor lose water so when a cell is placed in three types of solutions first when it is placed in hypotonic solution the cell will gain water when the cell is placed in hypertonic solution the cell will lose water and that process is known as plasmolysis and when the cell is placed in isotonic solution the cell will neither gain nor lose water so nothing happens to the cell when it is placed in an isotonic solution okay the next one is chromosomes what do you mean by a chromosome chromosomes are simply rod like or thread like structures chromosomes are simply rod like or thread like structures which are formed by the condensation of chromatin fibers which are formed by the condensation of chromatin fibers during cell division or reproduction that means during cell division or reproduction this chromatin fibers condenses to form rod like or thread like structures this rod like or thread like structures are known as chromosomes this rod like or thread like structures are known as chromosomes a chromosome consists of two similar threads a chromosome when we are taking a single chromosome it consists of two similar threads two similar threads and that two similar threads are known as chroma 